Alan Shepard once said, I must admit, perhaps I'm a piece of history after all. Mankind has been gazing towards the stars ever since the beginning of time to understand where we came from and what the future holds for us. We were constrained by our capacities, fantasizing about time machines that could show us the past, present, and future all at once. And now, we have it. In 2022, mankind will observe 13 billion years through the past, and no time machine involved. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, or just Webb, will enable us to understand the cosmos as it was shortly after the Big Bang. To compare this with its predecessor, the old man Hubble, it's what a digital microscope is to a magnifying glass. So what mysterious secrets will we discover with it? And how might it transform our cosmic view? Welcome to TechWiki. In today's video, we will take a closer look at the development of the James Webb Space Telescope and then dive deeper into the amazing phenomena and the mysteries astronomers will encounter with this amazing technology. Initially, Webb was conceived as a next-generation space telescope and was named after NASA pioneer James Webb six years later. With the help of European and Canadian space organizations, NASA planned to launch the JWST in 2007. That was, of course, 14 years away because of the difference between the new Marvel and the Hubble. Hubble has a wide range of visible light wavelengths and a somewhat limited range of ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths. Actually, the cosmic rule credited to Edwin Hubble and others was established by noting that galaxies' redshift is precisely proportionate to their distance from Earth, which the Hubble telescope investigated to the best of its abilities. In this sense, NASA prefers to refer to JWST as the successor to Hubble, rather than a replacement because it is specifically focused on the infrared part of the spectrum, which means it can see light emitted by stars and galaxies that existed over 13 billion years ago, making this telescope, in essence, a time machine. Despite all Hubble capabilities, JWST will have the ability to observe much wider distances and farther back in time. In addition, JWST's light-gathering capability far surpasses Hubble's. You can observe the size difference by using the Webb mirror, which is significantly larger and 100 times more powerful. Compare the diameters of a softball and an NBA basketball. Furthermore, the Webb has a field of vision that is nearly 15 times greater than Hubble's. During Hubble's 30 years of orbiting the Earth, the JWST will orbit the Sun from 1.5 million kilometers away at the second Lagrange point. It is impossible to identify infrared sources that are considerably farther away from us even when there is mild heat radiation. As a result, the JWST must be negative 233 degrees Celsius or negative 388 degrees Fahrenheit for best functioning. After all, that's why the JWST has taken three decades and incurred $10 billion in investment. So what are we looking for? And what do we expect to find? Do you remember the code name that was often used to describe the JWST? We have a very good reason for this. A large portion of the light from the very early universe is highly red-shifted, and its detection is beyond our current abilities. Researchers can study the origins of the cosmos with a web since it is designed to do near- and mid-infrared research. Despite the fact that we can't see the Big Bang because stars and galaxies hadn't yet formed, scientists hope to view the era after the cosmic dark ages when the first stars and galaxies formed, which became known as the Reionization Era. Scientists hope that Webb will help them determine when the universe's first light appeared, and it may have been as soon as 100,000 years after the Big Bang. On the first day, James Webb will observe half a million galaxies in a tiny region of sky, approximately the size of three full moons in the Cosmos wet mission. Well, it's not quite day one, because the JWST will remain in orbit for weeks before it reaches operational temperature and for around six months before typical scientific activities begin. While there are 208.6 hours of scheduled observing hours, a team of 50 researchers will study over 5,000 galaxies, 
including an unprecedented 320 in the mid-infrared to learn more about how our universe developed. Moreover, Webb will release jaw-dropping eye candy photographs as soon as possible. We now have photographs of black holes, right? Well, none of them are completely accurate, since light cannot escape their grasp. The shocking 2019 image of the behemoth at the heart of the galaxy M87, acquired by the Event Horizon Telescope EHT project, is the closest thing we have from Earth. Astronomers think that these supermassive black holes are at the heart of nearly all big galaxies. Quasars are those that are actively feeding on enough surrounding matter to produce a light that is so brilliant that it outshines the rest of the galaxy. Even more recently, in early 2021, the EHT project provided a polarized light image of the core of the M87 galaxy, which employs eight radio telescopes from across the world to build a virtual Earth-sized megascope. Consider this planetary megascope in conjunction with Webb's space capabilities. Absolutely. The JWST will collaborate with the EHT project to take the first image of Sagittarius, a star or SGRA star, our own Milky Way supermassive black hole. Our cosmic neighbor, in relative terms, has a mass of 4.3 million suns and is only 27,000 light years away from Earth. The JWST is projected to provide astronomers with a spectacular picture of the flashing flares that are routinely released from our galaxy's center something that M87 has not yet discovered. That isn't even the most outlandish black hole exploration Webb has planned. Astronomers have discovered three massive quasars more than 13 billion light years away from Earth. According to NASA, the cosmos is 13.8 billion years old. The JWST will investigate these objects with billions of solar masses that date back to the beginning of the cosmos. Our new time machine is set to take us to the birthplace of galaxies and maybe inhabited planets. Since they were found nearly two decades ago, the number of verified exoplanets has surpassed 4,000, and the total is almost doubling every 27 months. The JWST is about to reveal considerably more about these other worlds than we currently know, as it analyzes their atmospheres and even looks for the building components of life. One option is to use ground-based observatories in combination with the transit method, which searches for the dimming of a star's light when the planet passes between the star and the web. Webb will assist in determining the planet's mass and will offer spectroscopy of its atmosphere. The intensity of light at different wavelengths recorded when the planet passes in front of the star is used in spectroscopy. When a planet passes in front of a star, the star's light travels through the atmosphere of the planet. If, for example, the planet's atmosphere contains sodium, when the spectra of the star and the planet are combined, an absorption line will appear in the area of the spectrum where we would expect to observe sodium. This is due to the fact that various elements and molecules absorb light at different energies. This is how we know we're on the spectrum. We could expect to observe sodium methane, carbon dioxide, or even water as a biomarker. Dr. Marsha Reichel, professor at the University of Arizona and primary investigator of the JWST's NIRCAM, Near Infrared Camera, believes that we may find not just new planets, but planets with atmospheres similar to ours. The telescope is set to make its first observations about six months after launching. And from there, we will see what this space observatory is made of. After so much anticipation, those first images are going to be well worth the wait. It will investigate more than simply objects 13 billion light years away. Our own backyard is going to be unveiled in ways we could never have dreamed. From the outer planets to Kuiper Belt objects and asteroids, everything is covered. The JWST will provide us with a new perspective on our cosmic neighbors. Scientists will be able to investigate the composition of surface ices and volatiles on a variety of planets in our solar system, as well as a new class of icy comets in the asteroid belt. And as Klaus Pontapadan, an astronomer with the Space Telescope Science Institute, said at a recent news conference, the telescope was built to answer questions we didn't know we had. Let us know why you are excited about this mission. Thanks for watching.